Hello, this is Technology Cost. Going ahead and uh, talk a little bit about the receiver on the uh, Bixler RC. This one was the RTF version. You get this from Hobby King, and uh, I wanted to go over something really quick that uh, some people were talking about on the internet, and uh, it's really simple. But uh, if you're looking up this video, you probably have a question about it. When you receive your receiver for your radio with the uh, RTF version of the Bixler, You'll notice that it has, you know, one through six. So we're going up through here. The, air, the ailerons all the way up to the FLA number six, right there. And then you'll look on the side here, on the right, and you'll notice that there's seven groupings of pins here. So they don't line up. Confusing. Why wouldn't they just put, you know, number seven? Well, here's the deal. When you wire this bad boy up, because the instructions don't really say, and if you're a total noob, you're not going to get it right away. It might take a minute or two, so you're looking this up. Basically, number seven is ignored. This final one, this is actually uh, your bind plug up there. So ignore that. Count this, one through six, going up like that. You'll get a, uh, a Y cable here. And this is your ailerons, all right, for both your wings, if you don't know that. But basically, you plug both your wings into this Y cable. And then your cables, when you do look at them, they're numbered, right? So that's good if they number them right. But the other part is, is this brown wire right here has to face outside on your receiver. So when you plug in your wires... The brown or the ground goes to the right, the outside of the receiver. Now the important one for your engine, and your ESC, is on the third one, which you'll see there it's labeled as throttle. Throttle three. So what you do there is when you do plug it in, I'll just give you a quick demo. This wire is a little bit different. It's black, but black is also considered ground. Technically, that's probably the correct one. So you see I plug that in number three. But when you plug these all in, number two, we'll go into the slot in between there. So say you plug this in. You plug your battery in, and your motor spins, or it stops spinning. And you're like, man, I just... Plug this in. Why doesn't that work? This is what usually comes with the RTF. This lipo here. I'll have to, um, in the specs of the RTF, I'll put it in the show more options below this video. I suggest probably uh, loading up on more lipos, some more hefty ones. gives more weight and it also um, provides more power and you can glide you know longer so get these while you can I believe the um, US Postal Service or one of the postal services the airlines are no longer flying with lipos so you can only get them like ground and um, shipped by sea or by certain carriers. So the prices of these are probably going to start going up, these lipos, if you're ordering from Asia, which we pretty much have to, um, especially in the States, and I'm sure in Australia and uh, the UK and, well, Europe in general probably has to, has to do as well. Um, <clears throat> Hong Kong, Singapore, Asia. So you might want to load up on these uh, post-date of this video. So anyway, uh, real quick, one thing I want to mention is if you plug this in, you'll hear that noise, beep, beep, beep. and you'll know your receiver is bound when 
Your transmitter's got that little red light there. And what I'm doing is, I'm moving the throttle up. I don't know, my engine's not spinning. Well, the problem with that is, is when they ship these, the power's low. So don't go griping at the Hobby King just yet. Make sure that uh, you give your batteries a full charge when you get them out of the box. Because if not, and you crank this bad boy on, it's not going to power up. Well, the engine. Now I know this works. Actually, right now it's not going to work, but uh, I know this worked last night. I, I powered up uh, my other lipo and uh, fired it up, and the engine was spinning. So, again, when you plug in batteries, when you order a couple extra, make sure you give them a full charge before going to um, Hobby King's customer service. They have a cool chat. I'd say set up an account there. Um, and when you order one of these Bixlers, I ordered uh, not only the Bixler RTF, but then I went ahead and uh, ordered an additional um, entire plane. Because when you order these, especially to date, um, <clears throat> it is so hard to get them. It took me, I ordered it, it was a month back order, and then it took probably three weeks to come from Singapore or Hong Kong, I can't remember. But it took forever. So I went ahead and um, knowing that, because I've had other RC planes, um, I went ahead and ordered another complete kit in foam. Because, you know, I'm going to crash this, I'm going to blow this bad boy up. You will too, probably. And uh, you don't want to wait a month until you can fly your plane again. So always have an entire body kit, um, you know, for like 30, 39 bucks, I think I paid. Um, have an entire body kit just, just in the waitings. That way, you know, you're flying one weekend, you smash the heck out of it, you can't repair it, and you want to go out the next day, you can. So, I learned that from uh, lessons in the past. But that's it. I just want to go over uh, that real quick for noobs, because I'm a noob, I'm learning stuff too. And uh, basically, I get real, I get real uh, opinionated when it comes to uh, people assuming things and not documenting things correctly. And this kind of I just kind of bugged me because it's something that in the RC world everyone knows, but they sell this as an RTF, and they should really give you a dummy sheet. I mean, I'm a dummy, so uh, yeah. This uh, if you try to line them up directly, it won't work, and then you're like, what the heck? Or if you plug in your stuff, it doesn't work, and then you're like, what's going on? And then you realize, okay, there's seven seven groupings of pins and only six labeled. All right, cool. I get it. Yeah, top ones for binding. I think could be subject to change. I'm like I said, I'm a complete, complete noob. But uh, that's it. I uh, appreciate you joining this and uh, checking it out. There'll be some uh, videos of this soon. I hope um, I got this to um, eventually build a drop door on. It's probably either this or a helicopter. I want to get it up um, several hundred feet and uh, drop this watch. Check out my G-Shock um, torture test. It's annotated right there. And uh, I'm going to take it up high in the sky. Not here, though. Kind of got some tree problems. But uh, I'm going to take it way up, and then I'm going to drop it. Anyhow, I enjoy my hobbies. I hope you do, too. Technolocost, out.